In today's mobility training tip, I'm going to share an exercise and take on the reverse hyper that people when they have a low back issue, kind of from the fame Louis Simmons from Westside Barbell, is using a stability ball. I got this variation from Paul Check. I would say I'm not good at it yet, so don't um, don't come at me too hard because I got pretty dysfunctional low back right now. But I figure I can speak through it. You know, I can direct you to his resource too, and just be a good way for us to uh, work through it together. Because low back pain, I find uh, for me personally, at least a lot of host of other issues up the spine to the periphery of my body. So we can kind of combat that and uh, just help you out for when you're training on the mats or if you're sitting in a chair a lot. Low back pain is literally a pain in the ass. So we're gonna conquer it today using the reverse hyper and the stability ball. Guys, if you're suffering from low back pain, connect with me in the description below. We'll do a free 10 minute call and I'll help you develop a pain performance plan to conquer your pain so you can perform how you want your life. Now back to the video. So we're gonna grab a stability ball and we're gonna try to place our hands forward here, kind of like all fours position. And have it, you don't want to be too far forward, but you don't want to be too far back, so just try to find somewhere comfortable. And we want to turn the hamstrings and the glutes off if you're really trying to target the low back. And I'll be honest, I'm not great at this movement because this is a dysfunctional pattern, so I'm just trying to work through this with you. Pinch everything together, shorten the hamstrings so we're taking them out of play, and then you're just going to try to, obviously this is kind of like a posterior tilt, and then try to lift up, and you create lumbar extension here. There, 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 there. And you're gonna feel as little back stabilizers and multifidus, by the QL, all engaging. And you're gonna feel your butt engaged too. It's just part of pinching your legs together. But maybe it's too hard. I like going down to my forearms here because it's kind of uh, bringing my forward weight to where I kind of on this uh, kind of incline or decline, whichever way you look at it. Then I just lift, and then try to cue that extension. Okay? And there's another variation. Say you do want to just practice glute engagement. So then you can let your knees flare out here, and you can kind of cue a little more glutes. Okay? So say you have gluteal amnesia and your glutes don't want to fire, this might be an option for you. And if you get tired in between sets, maybe. Just kind of roll your ball and just belly breathe here. Keep doing some like thoracic extension. But use this feedback to get a little diaphragmatic breath. Because we want to keep that flowing because we get the diaphragm pumping, we create more space in the lumbar. More space in the lumbar, we're going to get better uh, results probably uh, physiologically. And uh, another variation, let's say you want to actually work some hamstring engagement. You could straighten your legs out and do it this way. And Paul Checks talks about doing it slower. So regardless of the uh, setup you're doing, try to go slow. Maybe like a three count on the way up. It's hard for me, to be honest. Like that one, to me, feels good right now. But there's parts of my day where I'll you know, do this one. This one's just a struggle right now. And you just... Do that, okay? Wouldn't overthink it. If you're feeling some extension happen, it's the way you want it to go.